In this video, you will learn the correct way to install an NCS 1014 2.4 terabits per second line card in a Cisco NCS 1014 chassis. This video also demonstrates the correct way to install the CIM8 and QDD pluggable modules in the NCS 1014 2.4 terabits per second line card. For easy understanding, this video refers to the NCS 1014 2.4 terabits per second line card as the 2.4 terabits per second line card. Ensure that these tools and equipment are ready. Follow these safety instructions before you begin. Unpack the 2.4 terabits per second line card from the ESD cover. Locate the fiber management bracket for the 2.4 terabits per second line card in the chassis package. Check for scratches, bends, discoloration, or deformations on the 2.4 terabits per second line card and the fiber management bracket. Call your Cisco sales engineer for a replacement if you find any damage to the chassis or the modules. The fiber management bracket for the 2.4 terabits per second line card is fixed length, unlike other fiber management brackets. Attach the fiber management bracket in the correct orientation. Wrong orientation will obstruct the accessibility to the ports. Seat the captive screws in the fiber management bracket onto the holes on the sides of the 2.4 terabits per second line card. Next, using a torque adjusting screwdriver, tighten the two M3 T15 torque screws of the fiber management bracket to a torque value of 0.65 Newton meters or 5.75 pound inch. Take care while handling the fiber management bracket. Use the fiber management brackets only for pulling out or pushing in the line cards or filler cards. Do not use the fiber management brackets to carry the cards. Always support the line and filler cards at the bottom with your hand. You're all set to insert the 2.4 terabits per second line card into the NCS 1014 chassis. Before inserting the line card into the slot, use the This Side Up label to orient the line card correctly. Use both hands to push the line card. With one hand, support the base of the line card. With your other hand, hold the fiber management bracket and guide the line card into the slot. Slide the line card completely into the guide until it engages in the chassis. Using the torque limiting T15 screwdriver, Tighten the two captive screws of the line card to a torque value of 0.44 newton meters or 3.89 pound inch. Look for the RXTX polarity label on the 1.2 terabits per second CIM8 module. Based on the polarity, Attach the fiber optics cable for this module. Remove the pluggable caps on the trunk ports of the 2.4 terabits per second line card. Next, orient the CIM8 module to the trunk port of the 2.4 terabits per second line card. Make use of the fiber management bracket position to navigate the CIM8 module to the 2.4 terabits per second line card. Steadily insert the CIM8 module into the trunk port of the 2.4 terabits per second line card on either slot 0 or slot 7. After inserting the CIM8 module, using a torque adjusting screwdriver, tighten the captive screws of the CIM8 modules using the torque value printed on the module. Next, look for the RX-TX polarity label on the QDD pluggable module. Based on the polarity, attach the fiber optics cable for this module. Now 
Remove the pluggable cap from the client ports of the 2.4 terabits per second line card. Next, while inserting the QDD pluggable modules, the pull tabs of the QDD pluggable modules must always face up. Steadily insert the QDD pluggable modules into the client ports of the 2.4 terabits per second line card from slots 1 to 6. Now, route the fiber optic cable from the 2.4 terabits per second line card using the fiber management bracket. Route the fiber optic cables either to the left or the right of the line card based on your convenience and secure them with a Velcro strap onto the fiber management bracket. With this step, you have completed installing the 2.4 terabits per second line card and its pluggable modules into the NCS 1014 chassis. For more information, refer to the hardware installation guide.